Greetings Omnion Slice and today I'm going to be showing you how to get S plus rank with every character on the mercenaries. Now this is not going to be a full playthrough of every single level with every single character but I will be showing you a neat little trick that will make this a lot easier and that is the getting the RPD costume. So in case you don't know, you get the RPD costume for Leon as a secret unlock for getting S plus rank on every single map and every single playable character in the mercenaries, okay? It has to be S plus, not S plus plus. And the way we do that is by getting 500,000 points at least. So as you can see here, I already have S plus on every map and to confirm that it's only S plus you can see right here I only have S plus with pinstripe Leon here and I got the costume so I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be showing you some gameplay here and I'm gonna be narrating what I'm doing and what the strategy is to getting S plus as fast as possible all right so let's jump right in so the strategy of getting S plus is getting to 500,000 points with each character on every single map. So the way to do that is the first thing we're going to do is look for the chicken. Look for the chicken and grab the golden egg. This will give you 50,000 points. Okay. I'm, I didn't do it with Ada here, but look for the chicken, kill the chicken, grab the egg. Next up, we are going to use a pistol or TMP or whatever weapon you have that doesn't kill them in one shot and shoot them in the head. Shoot them in the head and kick them, okay? Melee them. This will build up your mayhem mode meter. So the reason why we want mayhem mode is because you get more points when you're in mayhem. Don't worry about your mayhem, always spam it. As soon as you get it, use it and go for headshots. This will give you 7,500 points or something crazy like that. It'll give you a ton of points if you land headshots with your mayhem meter. Certain characters like Wesker and Krauser, they will transform or have special movesets. So uh, I personally think with Wesker, the best thing to do is still going for headshots, even though it's very satisfying to go for the you know special move attacks, the combo, whatever. Um, just go for headshots and you'll get a lot more points. Alternatively, there are golden orbs around the map. So there are golden orbs around the map. I like saving these golden orbs, you know, those yellow spheres that you see around the maps, the map for boss fights. So the golden orb refills your mayhem mode by one tier. So this is useful because sometimes there are dangerous bosses like the Matt Chainsaw Villager here with you know the double chainsaw uh, salvador so i like saving that just in case so i don't have to worry about using my mayhem mode for building points you know when there's regular enemies i just spam my mayhem mode and when the double salvador the mad chainsaw villager spawns in i get one of the golden orbs or i just enable my mayhem and just use my crossbow or any other special weapon that your character may have in the case of Wesker, for example, uh, it's better to just melee attack him when you use your mayhem mode. You know, do your combo attack, your special moves, you know, you know what I mean, his hand-to-hand -hand combat. With Krauser, same thing, save your mayhem for the bosses, only for the bosses. And for Hunk, pretty much just spam it, just spam it, just, you know, Ada Hunk, Ada Hunk, Luis, uh, Leon, and the other Ada, they're all just, just spam your mayhem mode, get those headshots, get those kills, and save the golden orbs for the bosses. So, as you can see at the top right hand corner, you see some points. You see 271,000 with a star. So, you have to get that to 500,000. So, the way we do that is we want to get the chicken egg, we want to build up combos. And we want to get to 120 or 130 combo. If you don't get the chicken egg, it might take you a little bit more, like 135 or 140. But yeah, after you reach 500,000 points, you can just die. Don't restart. Don't close out of the game. Just die, okay? Just keep trying, though. But, you know, because once you make it to that point, you know, might as well just keep going because it only takes, what, an extra two minutes uh, to get, you know, to 150 combo. But yeah, you have to get to 130 combo after you've grabbed the chicken egg. Some people are reporting that they're saying that you get to 110 combo. 
That's not entirely true. You have to get to the point where you're, you know, just to make sure that your points are at 500,000. So don't stop until your points are at 500,000 and always grab those green time orbs. So the time orbs are important because you get points for time remaining at the end of the mission. So if you have a lot of time remaining at the end of the mission, you will get a ton more points. So make sure you get those green orbs. You know, they're not strictly necessary, but they do help. So if you're someone who struggles, you know, maybe you're a controller and it's a bit difficult for you, or you know, you're not that skilled of a player, get, before, before you start killing anyone, get the chicken egg, get the green orbs, and then start shooting them in the head and then meleeing them. Build up your mayhem and then enable your mayhem as soon as you can and get those headshots. Until you get to the boss fights, then get that golden orb or enable your mayhem and use your special weapon on the boss or, you know, special move like the one with Krauser or, you know, Luis's dynamite is incredibly overpowered. You can just spam it constantly. Leon's mayhem is also really good. It's the same thing as Ada. You deal a lot more damage and you move a lot more faster and you move a lot more, you know, you reload a lot faster when you're in mayhem with Leon and pretty much every character. Every character becomes faster and stronger when they are in mayhem mode. Mayhem mode is the key to getting a lot of points in the mercenaries. It's going to be something that's going to take you a while, okay? So Capcom intended this to be a sort of Easter egg and it, they intended you to have, you know, months, weeks of content. You know, you are not supposed to get this all in one sitting. You'll end up frustrating yourself. Keep this in mind, please. You're not meant to get this all in one sitting. You're going to end up getting frustrated. You're going to get mad and then you're going to quit or you're going to do worse. So please, you know, do a couple characters and then come back the next day or come back later, but take breaks in between, trust me. Unless you're a real hardcore gamer like I am and you're gonna do it all in one sitting, but I don't recommend it. And I'm telling you, you know, I'm not the best, but I'm also not the worst. And I think I'm pretty good at this game. So, and I even I struggled after getting frustrated for so, you know, just because I did it all in one sitting. Now, let's show you some gameplay real quick with Luis, just to show you that you can do this with really bad characters as well, because Luis is widely known as one of the worst characters in the game. So, let's show you. Also, yes, I did die here on purpose at 528,000 points. So, that's to show you that's all you need for S+. Plus. And uh, there you go. So, total score 528,000. All right, so with Luis, who is considered one of the worst characters in the entire game, the easiest thing to do is, once again, get good at parrying, because you're going to have to do a lot of that. So, headshots, start to go for headshots, locate the chicken. Locate the chicken. The chicken has predetermined spawn points, so if it doesn't spawn here, it'll spawn in the other spawn point, and so on. So, the more you play, the more you look around the map, the more you'll learn. So, I advise you to never stop, never start killing enemies, just go around looking for the chicken and then start killing enemies with headshots. And yeah, so Luis builds up his dynamite meter super quick. So what we're gonna do with Luis is we're going to set down the dynamite and he will stun everyone around him, as you can see here. And you can shoot the dynamite and this will give you a ton of points, but he also becomes very powerful and very fast. So even if you decide not to use the dynamite, you can just shoot all the novice lawyers, all the other, uh, ganados uh, with your pistol and you will get like 7,000 points per headshot just like Ada. So make sure you learn how much points you're, uh, you, you earn. That way you can come up with your own strategy and your own paths. I strictly recommend you pay attention to the green color you know numbers just to see how good you know what what how good you're doing and you know if you if you're if you're actually doing something that is giving you a lot of points anyway that's pretty much the gist of it um, i wish i could show you every character let me know if you want to see a guide individual guide on every single level of every single character s plus let me know in the comments down below hopefully that you find this video helpful entertaining You'll get the RPD uniform if you get S plus on every single map with every single character and their sing every single costume. Yes, every single character, including their costumes. S plus, not S plus plus. Five hundred thousand points. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Please enable the notifications by clicking the bell and then clicking all. This is incredibly helpful for me, so I know that you guys are gonna watch my videos and. 
I know that all the effort that I put into these videos is worth it. I'm primarily here for passion. I absolutely, absolutely love these games and I absolutely love making videos. So uh, I absolutely love helping people, learning more about the games that I like and that I enjoy. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.